us. With Aquino Spain not having to focus on the Carl list, having significantly more manpower and significantly more factories than CNT, we should, in the long run, win. Actually, what's this one even do? Delay? Those 15 organization for all the infantry? I'll take it. Seems really good. What's the best part of Canada? Um... Probably, I guess, BC. It's very, very nice up uh, over there. Okay, well, Valencia has fallen. But I don't live in BC. I've never actually been to BC. It's just what I feel would be, what I feel is like the, probably like the nicest part of the country. Okay, Russia's going to war on Central Asia. Again, nothing too surprising. We're no longer trading with the French. Then I guess we'll trade with Germany for right now. I have no factories. Why? I don't know. We at least have okay steel for our tank production. What's the worst part of Quebec? Probably, probably Alberta. Research speed, industry. But again, I've never been to Alberta either. Um, Want to march up, move our way over to these cities. Yeah, no, no offense if anybody lives in Alberta. I just, I don't think I'd want to live in there. Like any of the the prairie provinces, I wouldn't want to live in. Oh, we actually have a lot of political power. Invest 100. Honestly, here's the thing. We have absolutely no natural resources. Free trade is just objectively the best option for us. And I'm going to risk going to Barcelona. We're going to, we're going to take the risk. Of course, go for factory output. Construction speed makes no sense because, again, we're not even building anything. I don't, I don't think taking Barcelona would be enough for the war to be over. Might as well march all the way up to the Spanish border here. And did, um... No, the Canadians nor the French actually sent any troops here. Switzerland has joined the International. That's actually horrible news. Barcelona's fallen. But okay, the war actually ended. Uh, very, very quick, honestly. As you can I see in here when the war started? June, June, October? Not bad at all. That's like four months. An absolutely fantastic civil war. Wait, wait, are you elite now? Yes, you are, so we can stop training you. By the way, if you end up going uh, neutral, I will throw you into a goddamn pit. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna th throw you under the ocean with an anchor tied uh, around your, uh, your ankle. There's, there's no way you can stay neutral after all the help that me and Germany have given you. Mostly me. Now how much men did we actually lose in that, in that army? I don't know, because this doesn't actually really tell you anything. Hey, we might not have lost any troops. There we go. You're now even more leveled up now. And you've even got uh, some acclimatization. <laughs> Look, Monaco, I'm pretty sure is part of the Commune of France. So, uh, uh, for you, Monaco, I will try to liberate you. It might just take a while. We're already in, we're also in 1938. The war is going to be done fairly soon. And we're with this fervor, more recruited population stuff I like to see. And I will deploy, I think, one more infantry division as well. Get our way up to the six. I'm missing 600 tanks. 592 days. Yeah, I think our three tank division should be more or less ready 
for when, um... He's even a hundred artillery pieces. I wonder actually if turning these guys into seven twos would be better for us. Better piercing, a little bit better brace to do better soft attack. The fence goes down a, a decent amount. Suppression's worse, supply uses is worse. HP's a little bit bad as well. The negative 12.5. Less manpower. Benjamin goes up with you. Nah, let's get rid of this. I mean, a breakthrough, the, the attack is better. But, I mean, the HP just gets so low, doesn't it? And organization's pretty bad as well. Like, what about, what if we try to make them in the 40 combat with? We, we go for, like, um, the 14, uh, 14-4s. We don't have enough rifles. We don't have artillery. Manpower is going to be very expensive on them. But you know what? I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for now. You know what? Get rid of this guy. Deploy the manpower into these troops on the fields. We're only missing 1,000 rifles. We're only missing 172 artillery pieces. These should be refreshed. Rather quickly. 276 days. 164 days. As long as they're basically done before the second Vilkrieg, we're fine, right? But, you know, a couple of 40 combat with, I will take. I will take 40 combat with units. I wouldn't even mind making our tanks 40 combat with as well. Um, they'll be a little bit awkward divisions, but... Still think it seems like it'll be okay. And... Do I have an extra factory yet? Yes, I do. Okay, with extra factory, Portugal, please give me an extra steel so I can make tanks and, you know, rifles a little bit more efficiently. Oh, that's tungsten. I don't want tungsten. What the hell am I doing? Get out of here. I want steel. Get more steel. Yeah, trade, trade the steel with Austria. It really doesn't matter who I'm getting the steel from as long as they're anti-France, anti-Paris. Yes, yeah, so we're making actually one tank per day, seven, nine guns per day, and one artillery per day. Yeah, now that we have the, um, yeah, now that we actually have uh, supplies to make weapons, we're doing significantly better. Socialist Bulgaria. What is your plan? I mean, actually joining International, of course. But it means that Greece is more than likely going to have a line here. Right? They're, they're going to have a front line against Bulgaria. Bulgaria and Greece are going to fight it out. Romania and Serbia are going to probably join up with uh, with the Moscow Accord at some point in the future. I don't know exactly when, but I am almost certain it will happen. Yeah, give me the war support. I'll take it. I don't think it gives you more recruited population. It's more command power, but we're already at 100% for that, so it doesn't really make a big difference. You guys are at war here. Do you need early mobilization? I think we've already early mobilization. We're on partial already. On free trade. I would, I would like to get up to extensive conscription when we have the opportunity to do so. It's just that we don't have enough war support. War supports. Or, or we're at war, basically. Basically, any country will have more factories than we do. So getting up there shouldn't be a big problem. Yeah, so joining the Entente. They can actually join either the Entente or with um, the Reich's Pact. I would like for them to join the Entente, obviously. That would be better for us. But them joining the Reich's Pact... Is also okay as long as we can get France on a nice two, um, a nice two front civil war, not civil war, a nice two front war. That would be good. Resource gain doesn't do anything. I'm I'm pretty sure it doesn't do it for us. Upgrade art. You know what? We will go for the update. Our, uh, upgrade artillery. 
But the artillery already builds decently fast already. Siri just lost the war. I don't think anybody's surprised by that. I wouldn't mind trying to maybe like do like a one-off uh, video of trying to win the wars of Syria. I don't know how well they would possibly fare though. Chief of Army. I need more. Yeah, more max speed and brakes on our tanks, please. We're going very tank heavy. Because we, we kind of we need something, right? Something to get us through the day. Something to get us through the war. I mean, we could honestly throw an extra force tank in there. It'll take a while for them to be deployed, I know. But you know, we've, we've got we gotta do something, right? Bonus technology, bonus of mobile warfare would be nice as well. Distance. Do any of you give me better? No, you're all kind of garbage. Nothing here is like pro, um, nothing there is pro building equipment that's not aircraft or uh, naval units. You don't get like a 5% bonus on all land vehicles and weapons. That'd be really nice. I'd probably actually use that to get anything more option if this is the case, but uh, it's just not a thing that's there. We don't like that you've gone international. It, it's really, it does hamper the ability of Germany in the future. And again, you could still th overthrow. But they also... No, I think they've actually... I don't think they've overthrown the system. I think they've gone for use a popular mandate. Because we, you remember earlier, we did see the AI institute a minimum wage. We saw them take this focus. Which means that they're actually not going pro-international. They're not having a Dutch revolution. They're just uh, declaring a Dutch republic. Which works fine for us. It might mean that they stay neutral. But of course, coming to France, they do get the ability to go around Ludendorff, which declares war on the uh, Belgium and the Netherlands. But I wouldn't be too surprised if we end up seeing them do that and then the Dutch just could join the Reichspact anyways. Of course, they, coming to France, they always take the decision before they even border the Dutch. Don't really know what the hell they ever are thinking when they take the decision, but you know. Got, you, look how many volunteers you're getting. You're getting volunteers from nobody. CSA is getting it from Britain and France. CSA is getting it from like 17 different countries. Not us, because I, I don't think it's worth even trying to win the war in, in uh, the US. It will not be over within a year. I can I can guarantee you that. So it's not worth care, uh, Throwing lives into the into the front, like it's just bad. Okay, we'll go for elastic defense. Fortress Sardinia, naval speed plus fifteen percent is pretty good. I will take the organization. Again, it doesn't really matter in which order you take these, unless you're at war. But we'll get the military officers from Canada. We'll get the naval invasion speed bonus from France. And we'll get the, the forts. We also, we need to make sure that Sardinia doesn't fall to the Syndicalist. So we might even need to build up one trash, two trash militia units just to guard our two ports. In the case of an emergency in which the international lands and tries to take over Sardinia. Of course, if we can't allow it to happen, we will capitulate that's basically the run over. Which is bad. I don't think I need to explain that part, but... We just don't want to lose. Click. <laughs> Try to live for as long as he possibly can. Hands and answer ambitions. That's okay. Kind of what I was expecting. The Canadian military officers are on their way.
Nice, I think actually lost their war. Santiago has fallen. Which means that Argentina is actually going to win the war in South America. Very, very good news for us. So that means that Brazil or Argentina, if they end up joining the Reich's Pact or the Entente, will not have to fight a war down here. Again, assuming that like Peru or something doesn't go syndicalist, but I don't think they're going to, at least at the moment. Yeah, I think once Chile dies, the Patagonian Workers' Front basically stands no chance at all. And Canada's... You've actually directly intervened in the Civil War. Okay. I will then... I will join your war. You declare war on both of them, actually. Are you totalist? No, you're not totalist, which means you will not uh, intervene. And maybe this means that somebody might start giving us some tanks. Like this guy. Hey, want to give me seven tanks? I will take them. They might be a little trash, but... No, it is what it is. War propaganda. I don't think we need war propaganda, and actually we can use this to immediately justify extensive conscription. Get us some more manpower, which we do need. How's this front actually looking? I'm worried that Canada will not have what it takes to actually defeat the CSA. As you can see, they're already marching their way up into Ontario. They've actually got no troops over there at all. So, excellent. Good work, guys. Thank you for you. Thank you for the guns. Thank you for the tanks. Thank you for anything that you can spare. I, I, I greatly appreciate it. What are you missing? You're all about halfway on your tank. We've almost got all the artillery we need. It must be about a thousand rifles, but it's not that bad. The thing is, like, did you really also need to declare war on the American Union state? I feel like that's just making the situation a lot harder for yourself. Friends Federation of that war down here. We might see the Native India maybe try to go to war. I don't know. But having wars on two different continents. Uh, it's not. Not going to be good. Not going to be good. We're also missing 12 steel. We're not getting any steel from the Austrians. God damn it. Uh, Germany, do you want to trade steel with me? Get it from the Germans. Again, allow us to get our tanks up. How many tanks are we building right now? Two a day. And it's actually only getting better. We're making 10.5 rifles a day. We're making 1.2 artillery per day. These are completely accessible numbers. It would be nice if we had more factories to maybe be able to utilize uh, some aircraft. But that, that's asking maybe a little bit too much, unfortunately. How are you guys doing here? Moving away into Buffalo. Kind of do need to do some naval invasions. But like, I really wish you just weren't out war with the American Union State. I think it just makes your, your situation just like a lot worse. I mean, like, we could send, like, it's like we could send units, but, like, on the other hand, like, can we? Can we really send troops to, to fight the CSA? I still think they're going to win. I still think the CSA is going to win. How many men do they have? <clears throat> 61 to 192. By far the strongest American faction, they typically always are. I mean, they're pushing a little bit through the prairies. The prairies. Through the prairies. They're taking a little bit of, uh... A little bit of New England, but that's really about it. Because the Canadians, like, a lot... They're a lot less likely to actually take over... Um... What do you call it? A lot less likely to take over New England. It seems like a thing that they don't really do anymore. Like, if they were to do that, they, of course, would have performed... Significantly better. Because they would have had another ally in the region. Here comes all of France's troops. 
You've landed in near New York City, but in a province that doesn't have any supplies. This is, again, this is the problem with the Entente. The Entente's going to spend so much manpower trying to break the CSA that when the Second World Creek actually happens, they will not have any men or materials to actually wage the war. They're going to sacrifice dozens of divisions to be naval invasion that they will not be able to actually succeed in. I mean, it does distract some infantry here, sure. But if your goal is just to distract some infantry, which I don't think is actually a bad thing to do against AI, you could literally just send, like, one single uh, infantry division. Just a single, like, two stack. A two combat with. Sure, they die almost immediately, but their whole point is that they're just a distraction. Not sending in three fully... Fully, like, full health, decent French divisions. Especially since they're probably also going to do the same thing to the American Union state, which, again, doesn't really help anyone. Especially, like, do we... I don't know if we want to send troops in. Like, it, it's, a, it's a really hard decision to make. Like, if we were to maybe put our troops here, push away to Detroit and try to rush Chicago... Maybe. We can see that the CSA is actually losing a little bit of territory to the American Union State. And American Union State is a better person we need to fight than the CSA. CSA can join the Internationale. Much worse global ramifications than the American Union State winning. Maybe if we try to rush? But I don't want to do that if we don't have our tanks. And if we can't stay for so long... Oh, don't, don't deploy these units yet. We can deploy them when the war begins. Also, oh, we can probably go to war economy at this point. I would have to imagine. Go to war economy, please, and thank you. Russia declared war in Finland. Not great. Like, what are you missing? It's, it's, it's mostly just tanks. You're close, though. You're close. I think 500 tanks. We've done in 250 days. Most of those tanks things are with you, though. Yeah, you don't have any of the tanks. You know, just cancel this guy for now. Looks like he's not really actually doing anything. And actually, just deploy these tanks to the line. And I'm... I'm going to do it. I hate that I'm going to do it. But we're going to send some units over to Southern Ontario. Because I think we kind of... We have to at least try a little bit. But probably by March of 39, we're going to send our troops back home to Sardinia. We, we cannot stay in uh, the United States 